Hello and welcome back to Intentful Spaces. Today I have some new kind of motivation for you. It's all about the laundry. So go pull that load out of the dryer or the basket that's been sitting in the corner because this is perfect video to fold along with. This video is in collaboration with Hope. She is a mama of four and a sweet friend I've made here on YouTube and Instagram. Her channel name is at home with hope. And of course I will leave all of her information in the description box below and you can use that link to go watch her laundry motivation video as soon as you're done watching here, especially if you are on a roll getting your own laundry going with us sharing a clip of her video here and she does lots of clean with me videos and laundry motivation like this one here but she does also hauls and decor and she has a really good eye for that farmhouse style people love and you can take a peek at her instagram where she's always sharing seasonal decor inspiration that is so very well done i'm sure she's going to have all kinds of christmas vibes coming for you all so be sure to go over there and subscribe to her channel and give her a follow on instagram and let her know i sent you her way she was the inspiration for this video topic today I know I can use all the motivation I can get when it comes to the mass amount of laundry happening around here so jumping right in, I did need to restart the dryer because we have a large capacity washer and dryer by Maytag and it fits like a double load. So sometimes with large loads of towels, I do need to run the dryer a little bit longer to get them all dry. And I am sharing with you that I am using the seventh generation line of laundry products, their detergent, fabric softener, and also a chlorine free color safe bleach I am adding in here and adding a little bit of water to the fabric softener dispenser as direct and setting this to heavy wash hot water set to the white cycle double rinsing with fabric softener and auto sensing on the water and getting that going so now it is a bit later and I'm gonna go ahead and pull all the towels out because they are completely dry now and as you can see this is a massive massive load that this thing fits and it's very helpful for our family of six and the amount of towels that we go through tossing that bit of laundry in that was in the basket that I pulled from the washer and then gonna go ahead get the dryer going for that and pull all the stuff out of the washer that I had taken from the sofa and I'm gonna go ahead and just air dry these things for a while I'm gonna use this drying rack that I got very inexpensively from Walmart it fits very nicely behind the door and then just pops right up whenever I'm ready to use it and it fits a lot of stuff on there and it's just a really convenient way to air dry clothes right there in the house so I use this for like my yoga pants and my sports bras athletic wear anything I don't want to go in the dryer it's so easy to just pop this thing up and throw all this on there and then just put the rack away when I am done we typically do not put large items like blankets straight into the dryer we will normally throw them over the stair rail or the gate here and let them air dry for a while and then we just toss that stuff in the dryer to air fluff at the end so it doesn't need to be running in that dryer for quite so long and Jax is napping there in our room, so I'm just gonna sneak right in there real quick and grab up our towels and bath mats to get added into this basket that's gonna be going into the wash. And I'm gonna go around the house and gather up anything else that needs to be thrown in, which on this day is primarily just towels, towels, and more towels. I do run a load about every single day, which is mostly just the towels from around the house, from the kitchen, bathrooms and stuff, and then also I toss in the kids' laundry usually right away because their stuff tends to be dirty and I just don't want their stuff sitting for very long with stains setting in. 
So because most of the stuff in here is whites again, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some more of that non-chlorine bleach. And we've been redoing the grass in our backyard and it's been a muddy mess back there and the little ones share a bathroom with us. So our bath mats are pretty gross. So I'm gonna treat that with some of the seventh generation stain spray. And I never use fabric softener on towels. So I always just pour some vinegar right there into the fabric softener dispenser. And this will soften the fabric, neutralize odors, and it doesn't coat the fabric with that fabric softener that prevents and inhibits it from being able to absorb moisture, which is exactly what we want towels to do. So as much as I would love that smell of fabric softener on my towels, it just kind of negates their purpose. So I always just use vinegar if I am washing towels. And the smell does not linger. It only smells like vinegar when it's in the wash. And I don't really even smell it outside of the laundry room. And the odor is completely gone by the time that stuff is coming out of the dryer. And even when I'm taking it out of the wash, you can't even smell it at all. So you may have noticed my laundry room is absolutely thrashed. We have been working on projects up here. That's why there's like a drill and all kinds of stuff. And all these soap bottles, there's some that are empty and new ones that need to be be put up there and I just want to go ahead and take a few minutes and just give this space a quick tidy. I was hoping to do this before I even started this video, but it just did not happen. So not going to get too into it on this day. I just want to go ahead and kind of get it squared away a little bit, but I do have plans to do a big declutter and organization of this space. It desperately needs it. So I will be posting that sometime in the near future. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you like decluttering and organizing inspiration. And if you have come on over from Hope's channel, welcome. I am so glad you decided to click on my video and come check out my channel. My name is Melissa and I post lots of clean with me videos as well as decluttering and organizing inspiration. And I post every Wednesday and Friday each week. So if this is the thing you're into, please make sure and subscribe here so that I can keep it coming for you. I am also over there on Instagram at Intentful Spaces and I post in my stories almost every single day with lots of instant motivation there and I'm posting my Friday flows every Friday there in my stories where I take you along with me all day long while I'm recording for next Friday's video of how I flow through my day complete with all the momming and the chores and all. I like to include a lot of real life footage in my videos. So I often will have my kids running through while I'm trying to do this stuff because in real life, I always have my kids around. That was my husband's load of laundry and I'm gonna go ahead and just set that in the closet for him to deal with later and get these sheets folded and put away. Let me know in the comments below if you do your husband's laundry, if you fold it for him, put it away, or if you just let him do it himself. Um, I will help him out on occasion, but on this day, I just had so much I still needed to get caught up on, so not gonna do that for him this time, but I am gonna show you how to fold a fitted sheet. I know this can be a little challenging for some people, so I'm gonna go ahead and just give you a demo real quick. You flip one corner inside out and tuck it into the other do the same thing on the other side where you just tuck one flipped inside out right into the other and then you have these two little pockets I'm gonna go ahead and slide my hands in there so that you can see what I mean and then you're gonna kind of form it into a rectangle with the folded side down so it just kind of gets folded right into there so i'm going to fold it in half and half again lengthwise and then fold it down here into thirds and there you have a folded fitted sheet so i'm going to set that aside and show you another little trick that i do for the set of sheets um, i'm going to go ahead and get this large sheet the flat sheet folded and i'm going to leave it folded lengthwise so that I can just easily set the pillowcases and the fitted sheet right on top and then just roll it right up into the flat sheet and it makes a nice neat little parcel just like that and I can tuck that into the drawer. So back over to the dryer, pulling out another load and gonna set that aside to get folded. Getting all of the line dry stuff pulled off of my drying rack and I'm just gonna go ahead and toss it in the dryer for some air fluffing. 
And I do absolutely love this Maytag set that we had gotten from Lowe's. The only thing I really don't like is that the dryer lint catcher is on the top of the dryer. So it means anytime I have anything up there, it's in the way and hard to get to the lint trap. And also every time I empty it, it just leaves lint all over the top of the dryer. So I just grab that big wad of lint and then just use it to kind of wipe the dryer off to kind of grab up any pieces. And it usually does a really good job at cleaning off the top there so now it's time to sit down and really get into some folding I have lots and lots and lots of stuff to fold here so I'm gonna go ahead and throw on a little bit of music and just speed this up and hopefully just you guys can get some relaxation or some motivation out of watching all this stuff just make its way folded into the basket and mostly put away there's just a basket of towels that need to go downstairs for the kitchen and this is all fluffed and ready to go downstairs as well and now I'm gonna pull the stuff out of the washer I'm gonna toss all the towels into the dryer but the bath mats I'm going to hang up on this drying line that I have hung up here in the laundry room I have always had a drying line hung over my washer and dryer since my very first home. I love being able to just pull things out of the wash and toss it right up there overhead and like any kind of delicates to be able to just clip them up there and have them just privately there in the laundry room and not hanging on the drying rack out in the hall or anything. So if you are wanting something like this where you can just line dry a few items right there in your home, just get yourself some cheap cord with a couple of cheap eye hooks and make yourself a drying line. Easy as that. So now I'm going to go ahead and get all of the tags and hangers pulled off of these clothes I picked up for the kids from Target. They have mostly needed some pajamas and a few fall pieces. I am going to be decluttering and organizing all of their clothes here soon, but I didn't want to start getting in there and throwing things away that's not quite fitting them anymore until they actually had some stuff that does fit them ready to be put in the drawer. So whenever I get new clothes, I like to wash them separately by themselves before letting the kids wear them because of all of the process chemicals that are on new clothes it's really important to get that washed off before it's against the skin in my opinion so I don't want to run this with our regular clothes and get all those processing chemicals all over the rest of the laundry so go ahead and just washing them separately first 
first. And this is Jackson's shirt from this day. I'm sure you noticed the chocolate milk spilled down the front of his white shirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that sprayed. And then I just roll it up so that it stays kind of wet and that stain spray stays right on the mark and tuck it away until the very next load I'm going to wash. So now I am going to go ahead and throw all of the pillow covers back on the throw pillows and get the blankets put back on the sofa and start winding it down for this day my laundry never stops i just keep doing laundry load after load after load so at some point i have to cut myself off for this video i did put those new clothes in the washer and that tiny load of towels in the dryer so on this night i am not going to end up folding that load that i pull out of the dryer it's just going to go in a basket and stuck in a corner to be done on another, at another time and that is partly why I always have a basket or two in a corner to be folded because at some point I just have to stop otherwise I would just literally always be doing laundry it seems so i hope you enjoyed this laundry motivation i know it was a very chatty video i wanted to give you lots of tips and tricks and kind of narrate my whole process here so i hope that you guys liked it let me know in the comments below if you did and would like to see more stuff like this and make sure you are subscribed to my channel if you are new and also go follow me over on instagram at intentful spaces and remember to go check out hope's video right now she has some laundry motivation to keep you going and go ahead and subscribe to her channel if you like mine because she has lots of cleaning motivation for you there as well and go ahead if you have made it this far throw in a little emoji of some kind of clothing item or a laundry basket or something to let me know that you made it here to the end i always love to see which one of you do and as always Thank you all so much for being here.